All right, everybody, we are set up and ready to go with our bonus game, Another Crab's Treasure, all bosses by the literally unmatched world record holder in this category, Cloud. Cloud, whenever you are ready, let's see what happens when someone actually knows how to play Souls Likes. Oh my goodness. You're Couldn't it be me? me? You're giving me so much credit. Uh, but thank you for having me. Uh, this is another Crab's Treasure. Um, we've done a fantastic job to get this game on the marathon, and I'm super excited to show it to you guys. Um, and I guess we can just hop right into it. Uh, the time will start whenever I select a new game file. So we'll go in uh, three, two, one. So for the uh, uninitiated in crab game, this is a game about our silly little Kermit crab friend getting his home stolen and his journey to no, 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 no. find it, essentially, to take it back. And uh, the Lone Shark came to take our shell, unfortunately. Thus begins our adventure. Uh, if there is ever a time to d restart your Discord screen share. Oh, you're so right. I totally forgot to ask. No, we're good. That's on me. Oh, that was super fast. You're a blessing. Yep. We're quick. All right. Um, so this trick right here, we just did a little... Uh, there's a die and silly <laughs> button in this game, uh, and we use that in a couple of spots to just warp to different spawn zones. Super simple. No. We use that to skip like the first platforming area in this game. We were talking last game about what if you added a gun to random games. I'm told that this game does, in fact, have the what if you added a gun mechanic. I was listening and I did hear that. Uh, the um, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be seeing that in this route. It is. It is I assume it's a separate legal. category, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we do. We do have a uh, a gun percent in um, we're gonna be putting out right here. Uh, we do have a gun percent category in the, in our little community, and it's very funny and very fast and uh, very competitive as well. We have a couple of community members that go really, really hard in that category. Does the gun um, just one shot everything? Just about, yeah. It also has a ton of HP. <laughs> so funny. And uh, yeah. Makes Why does the gun? Sorry. Why does the gun have <laughs> HP? I uh, just it's a very like sturdy shell. Oh, it's a sh like you wear it. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um. If we have enough time, I will put it on. Why does the gun need it, HP? I'd be happy, <laughs> I'd be happy to, to show it off. Um, but yeah, <laughs> the um, it's actually a part of this game's like accessibility options. Uh, something that the developers oh, wanted cool. to do is they wanted to make this game like uh, playable for you know a anybody, and um, I think it's a really really cool and fun way to. Uh, add accessibility to this game and it was it was really re well received by the community and uh, quite a funny thing um but yeah you've been you've been seeing me doing these little like uh dash launches we call those cals charge attack launches and uh they're just about frame perfect little tricks where mid charge attack you do a jump uh right when you have the most forward momentum and it will conserve that momentum and launch you forward uh and that's kind of our main mode of transportation uh in this category or in restricted at least and use it to oh sorry about that there we go and we use it to get all over the place i love when people do something in a speed run and apologize and meanwhile i'm like <laughs> i don't even i don't even know what you didn't do i'm uh <laughs> <laughs> it's we all do it we're like ah oh, sorry i missed yeah, that and i'm like oh, oh god you missed look great to me <laughs> uh yeah the cows are just they can be a little finicky sometimes because they are quite specific um but everything's going smooth so far uh and speaking of smooth this is the all bosses route and it's kind of difficult to get uh, the bosses to be scripted in this game. So there's plenty of room for things to go wrong. 
uh, if the bosses choose certain moves or decide to stall. So uh, the name of the game here is kind of mitigating that and doing our best to get as much power as early as possible so we can essentially just one-shot them as we, uh, as we come to them. Uh, but that doesn't... Um, that doesn't quite work out in the later game, so we'll, we'll see a lot of uh, interesting fights um, as we sort of get into like the, the 30, 40, and uh, 50 minutes into the run. Chat is still talking about gun percent, and it's good to know that there's a category that even I could run. I'm so... Oh, so bad at Soulsborns. I mean, but if you, I, if anybody I, is interested in gun percent, it's a fantastic like little. It, it basically turns this into like a, a movement game. You're you know you're cowling all over the place, platforming properly, it tightens things up a lot. Very mm. fun. Things that I could actually do because God knows I can't do boss fights. <laughs> That's why the so only game did. I run with boss fights, we skip like half of them. <laughs> So what we did right there was something that we call a shell clip, which is where you kind of like crouch into your shell and then pop your shell off and where it's positioned whenever you go back into your shell, it clips you through the wall. You do that a couple of spots here and actually there's another one coming up right now. Go into this wall and then hold jump and we go straight up. Oh. Nice and easy. <laughs> Oh, I love that. I, my brain had exactly enough time to be like, oh no, you missed the net before you did not miss. You actually just <laughs> were going through the wall instead. Okie dokie. So that's kind of like the tutorial area. That's like the first area, the shallows that we have just run through and we're on our way to the big city. Uh, we skipped a lot of bosses in that area that we will be coming back to for reasons that I talked about. We are just going to look for a lot of power first uh, before we waste a bunch of time on bosses that we can't quite qu kill just yet. <gasps> Do you mind if I talk for a sec? Oh, go for it, by all means. Because we just had a new milestone open up. Boo, 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 boo. Right. If we hit six thousand doll hairs, uh, by about midway through Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, uh, Alice will be doing a boss fight against Ruby blindfolded. Which I was just talking about how I don't speedrun games with that many boss fights because I'm bad at boss fights normally. Apparently other people are like, boss fights aren't hard enough. We need to not see. <laughs> so if you want to see that and make sure Alice does not, we are about $250 away from that. And... If you make sure that all of those $250 in donations also go toward the Band of Thieves Fresh File incentive, then we will get both of those. Okay. So the item that we just picked up is a stowaway. They're little equipables. We picked up the razor blade, which increases our attack speed. And if you can guess what that means, that means our charge attack is faster, which means that when we do our charge attack launches, we get to go even faster. And that's become like a huge development that uh, we have made recent, well, not recently, but uh, it's been part of the evolution of this run is getting early razor blade. Oops. Here we're going to do a little menuing trick to access the Shell Corporation's menu. 
which is just somebody that we need to talk to to trigger this cutscene that we're about to see. How often does this game make you sigh like that about puns? Okay, so that's like something I wanted to talk about earlier. <laughs> uh, we didn't get the voice line, but at the very start when Krill, Krill is the name of the little hermit crab that I'm controlling, but um, Krill will say like, this, this game is very censored uh, by puns. So he'll say, oh crab, you know, um, or, or excuse me, this is going to be a bit vulgar, but like mother shucker. Uh, instead, uh, and I am such a, I, I'm such a sucker for puns, and it's part of the reason why I love this game because they are littered throughout. Uh, and I would love to hear if anybody has, uh, like any of their own deep sea crab fish puns, uh, that of their own. We love a pun donation. I know some hosts say, please, no pun donations for me. And some runners are like, please don't make me listen to puns. But I adore puns. And it, it seems is, Cloud does too. It is very much in the spirit of the game. And extremely appropriate. Yeah, I imagine it would be tough to run this game if you hated puns. I'm sure, yeah. You'd just be um, real upset. Another thing, too, that this game is is littered with is uh, references to all kinds of different things. Uh, I am I am not versed <laughs> enough to know absolutely every single one of them, and I'm sure there are some that you're going to recognize watching this, uh, and it's always super fun to, to see them. Um, oh, uh, sorry, I kind of just breezed past it. Uh, what we just did is we killed our first boss. Hooray! Uh, Hagoras the Ravenous. One of how uh, many? Gave, uh, one of 19, I believe. 19 and um we did a silly little thing where we threw ourselves into the abyss and it spawned us under the boss as he was running at us and it doesn't like it whenever we're in the same spot as the boss so it launches the boss into the abyss do you know offhand how many bosses you fight in like a normal any percent uh in any percent um <sighs> i'd have to actually count in my head um one, two. I think six. You only fight six? I believe so. Wow. It could be more. So are are the other 13 optional or are there just 13 that you found skips for? Uh, Some of them are optional and some of them that are ones that we have just found. Hey, we don't need to do these. We can just skip past them, uh, whether it's like clipping cool. out of the arena or flying over the arena entirely. There's uh, there's so much in this game just being a uh, somewhat open world platformer, like the levels are quite big and we have a lot of options as far as movement goes. Um, So there's like a, a ton, I think, honestly, even still left to discover with this game, especially in the old bosses route, because it's a little bit less popular, but it's it's my little favorite pet pro project. I mean, it just seems intuitive if a game skips that many bosses that eventually all bosses will become a route. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm literally routing all bosses for a game right now for that exact reason. So I understand. <laughs> I know mm -hmm. where you're at. All bosses is fun. It's, uh, I think my favorite part about it for me is just, it's, it's a whole different rule set, uh, and opportunities for like problem solving. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, okay. We're coming up on our next, next, uh, boss right here. This is Hykia, the, uh, not imitation crab, the intimidation crab. Uh, and it's cause he has like a fear attack, uh, Again, another one of the puns. <coughs> oh, we didn't get it there. That's okay. It was a little slow on the minigame. The uh, the goal with this right here is to spearfish this guy and fall off the cliff and yoink him into the abyss. Like that. Mm. We need to hit the cutscene, though. Because he got stuck on a rock. 
I did just see the uh, prawn shop in that loading screen. Yes. <laughs> They're gonna be everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this uh, Pagoras and Ikea gets us just enough to like really start to um, level up our attack power um, and to start Looking through these bosses, we're going to go make a small purchase first from the little menu trick. Uh, we're gonna pick up a pride flag because let's go. Yeah. Oh, I messed up. It's okay. We just reload. Invisible menu trick shenanigans. There we go. We're going to ensure our little red cup. It's so little. It's so little. Uh, the red cup is also something that I haven't talked about. This is just like a regular... Oh, <laughs> guess squished. Uh, it's just a regular shell in the game. Uh, the spell will like make your roll uh, heavier, so it's like not as good, but it gives you a huge attack boost, and that's something that we use pretty much throughout the entire game in just about any route that isn't gun for some. We also upgrade our fork here for more attack power. Equip our stowaway. And then we're going to level up here. Ooh. Chat would like to know if you have a favorite shell, especially if there is one you like that we don't see in the speedrun. Hmm. I think my favorite. We don't use it in the speed, uh, the speed run, but um, we do like go past it. It's one of in one of the boss arenas. It's the uh, the scrub Aggie. It's a a little reference to like a scrub daddy. So it's like a little sponge. We might get shot here. Oh goodness, this is gonna be dangerous. I'm just gonna quit out here. That guy up there is. A sniper, and he will one-shot me very fast. <laughs> uh, but the cool thing about that uh, shell is it's just like it's a little angry angry sponge on your back, and it's just, I don't know, it's cute. It's for vibes. Uh, I think it makes a little squish noises and like squeak noises. Oh, it has such a good angry face. I just looked it up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, right. Is there like a collect all shells category? Um, there isn't. I know in the Discord we have like uh, our misc or like our miscellaneous categories, uh, and there's been plenty of things. Like there's been uh, people tracking their hundred percent runs and stuff like that. <clears throat> um, but I don't believe that we have an all shells category. That'd be interesting to see. I I'm curious, like how many like breakpoints and bosses you have to get to. Uh, to access all the shells, because there's definitely some that are only accessible later in the game, too. Okay, so we're coming up on to probably one of my favorite bosses of this run. Uh, he's a mantis shrimp. Uh, a French mantis shrimp. Oh. Yes. Aren't they all? <laughs> no, I wouldn't know. I haven't spoken to one, but... I guess I should if I consider them my favorite. They are so cool. You had no respect for this grove. Just get through this boss fight real quick. I shall see you to the drain. Nice. All right, now he's gonna go up. I'll break you apart. Good. Sometimes he doesn't play his audio there, and it's very difficult to dodge. Oh, uh, because you're using like a sound cue for the dodge. Exactly, yeah. That's frustrating. You deserve your fate, monster. One more hit. Oh. So that's another thing. Bosses in this game love to use their like back steps and spacing moves just to waste my time sometimes, but 
so this cool with them. Well. So something that we just picked up here um, and is unique to the all bosses route is when you kill a boss that has a cutscene after its death, uh, the attack that you use is duplicated. So we just picked up a little glitch called double hit and we are going to do our best to use this to essentially go kill as many bosses as we can uh, in rapid succession. Oh, interesting. So we have a ton of damage right now. However, it's very dangerous because if we die or quit out or mess up at all, we lose it. Mm. Uh, and this next boss coming up is a notorious uh, <laughs> boss that likes to take this away from me whenever I'm doing my runs. Uh, it's one of our three alliteration bosses as well. It's the Curdled Carbonara Connoisseur. Mm. Did a back step, so we'll see. All right, we're good. Plenty of damage. Mm. Carbonara in a Chinese takeout box, like all my favorite uh, Italian places. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> a little off, but you know, if you're, you're a crab under the ocean, you, you take what you can get. It's a cute hat. I can't blame him. Do you have a moment for some puns? Uh, oh, yeah, of course. Pun me up. <laughs> uh, we got $10 from Yunoki that says, I always knew you were a shucker for puns. And $1 from William or William that says, you made a pun and I didn't even realize. This game is littered with puns. I think those are amazing. Oh, don't die here. There we go. I'm very happy to see that one of those donations is my friend as well. So it's good to know that I, I have uh, people watching me. I know we have people watching, but... Uh... I don't know, it's 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 comfy, that's what I'm trying to say. Ooh. There we go. Oh, that's still not going to make it, that's frustrating. Oh my goodness. This cow always likes to give me trouble because of this net right here. I'm just gonna do a safe route. All right, on to the next boss. We have the Consortium, which is kind of like an amalgamation of a bunch of different sea animals trapped in a crab trap. I don't believe there's a pun in this boss's name, unfortunately. Well, that's what mods are for. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make our own puns. Yeah. Hey, guy's got a gun. That's cheating. It's only a flare gun. Doesn't count. Oh. oh. Watch out for this. I'm guessing it doesn't work then. Um, it definitely likes to one shot you. <laughs> what? Okay. Actually, I think he might do the attack right here. I will dodge it if I can. Not, not to make the classic Mario one. What were they thinking joke? But y'all know flares don't work underwater, right? <laughs> Let's talk about fire. <laughs> Hi. I'm a scientist. Oh, I pushed us off the back. That's okay. Just need to be very careful here. He might roll back and one-shot us. So from this point on in the game as well, uh, just about everything is going to try to one-shot us. Oh, like that. We blocked it. So is this canonically like a hive mind or was that one character controlling that no that i mean it's like 
it's a hive mind, I think. Uh, okay. The cutscene, which I, I skipped, shows like a bunch of little critters escaping the trap as we <clears> had <throat> broken all the knots that was holding it together. So I think it's a, I think it qualifies as a hive mind, as everybody's kind of like using their legs to move it around and stuff. Um, but that went really well. Usually we die to that boss uh, because it, it likes to be really floaty and weird. Uh, it's kind of one of those examples that I was talking about. It's really difficult to like get a scripted good thing going. Uh, but we made it work. I like that little guy on the map. He's just kind of, got a nice uh, little face. Yeah, unfortunately. Not uh, as nice in person? Uh, well, look at him. Those, those little guys on the map are the bosses in this game. Um, so yeah, they, they're smiley, but they're they're dangerous. I could get up here. I'm just barely missing it. Oh my goodness. Ooh, we there did we get a promise in the donations. I'm listening. Uh, $15 from Pow Z that says, Hi from the ACT community. I'll be joining you on the All Bosses Grind soon. Keep crabbing fast. Incredible. That's, I'm looking forward to like it. Sounds like a promise. Well, if anyone's interested in running this game, it looks to me like there's two times on SRC right now, which means you can get a free third place by finishing a run of All Bosses. That is true. Uh, also, the, the Discord is is full of friendly people that are willing to to teach and help you learn. Uh, I think this game is a blast, and I will be right there with them, helping them out. And uh, if this is ever something that interests you. We're actually going to hop out here for a sec and refresh our shell. There we go. I love Speedrunner's penchant for deciding that the most cursed enemy in any game is just their sweet little guy. Everyone in chat is like talking about the collective thing and is like, it's just a baby. It's just a little guy. <laughs> like, why do we all do that with every game? Listen, if they weren't just little guys, then we wouldn't call them little guys. <laughs> um. So after we, that was our second alliteration boss, by the way, the, platood, the polluted platoon plat pathfinder. Good, that one's always a tongue twister. Um, but that puts this fort into a different state, which allows us to access this boss that we are about to walk up to. And it also has some of the best music. I don't know if you can hear it as well as I can, but I play this in my background as like white noise all the time. Oh, also, another thing that I forgot to mention. Um, because of those glorious pun donations, I have a special little surprise. If we are if we are ahead enough, which looks like we are making pretty decent time this run, um, we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of a surprise at the end of the route, uh, just uh. as a treat for for you all and for me. Um, it's nothing huge, but I think it's very funny. Nice. Was that enemy supposed to have a walk cycle? Did you like... I, I couldn't tell if you glitched something out there or if that enemy's walk cycle is just skating. Uh, that enemy, uh, the, the big lobster? Yeah. Uh, that enemy, uh, those, they're, they're just kind of weird. Oh. Uh, <laughs> like I, I believe he was also just spawning out of the wall. That was probably <laughs> the spawn animation. But the reason mm. we killed that is because he likes to follow us into the boss arena, which is super not cool. Ooh. And then the boss gets an ad that it's not supposed to have. Very exactly. cool. <laughs> uh, so we do quit out there, which we lose our double hit, but um, that's totally fine. The rest of the bosses that it's going to matter for um, aren't super tanky. Um, and we're going to go finish up the rest of the shallow bosses. Uh, but we quit out there just to save a bit of cutscene time. Oh my goodness, I never equipped our pride flag. What a crime. Run okay. invalid. <laughs> Real. 
I always try to incorporate the pride, pride flag into any of my runs because it's uh, it's just a fun thing to do and it doesn't lose time or too much time. A couple seconds. I feel that there's a there's a bit in a game that I run where we can skip a conversation with a character. But if you get the conversation, you get to do a really stupid Easter egg. And because of the text skipper, it literally loses like a second and a half. So I just do it every time. I'm like, whatever. Maybe someday I'll care about a second and a half. But for now, I want the dumb joke in all my cutscenes. Oh, yeah. For now, we're here for fun. So you just uh, three shot that boss, huh? Yeah, this is we're, we're back in the shallows. This is the, this is one of the super early game areas and we are back bigger and better than ever. So the bosses don't stand a significant chance. <laughs> Did Krill uh, just have a little like crisis of conscience about killing that guy? Yeah, so the the story, right? That's like one of the first mandatory bosses uh, as like intended. Uh, and the you need a shell to get into the like little sand castle and that's where you'll get to get your shell and you're attacked by that guy and krill is is uh dealing with his first throws of combat uh and is a little traumatized our poor little krill guy yeah M massive lad gaming said exactly what i was thinking like, that was that was self-defense, right? From the crab who's been murdering stuff for a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes a lot more sense that that's supposed to be the first boss in the game. <laughs> so it's like, now's a weird time to worry about that. Alrighty. So all of this has been set up to do this next boss. Um, we're going to do a really fast strat here, and we're going to try to one-cycle this next boss. I've collected a bunch of uh, additional attack power. I've collected the upgrades to get the hammer, which you'll see in a second. And um, we're going to do Voltai really, really quickly. Uh, <coughs> she's an electric eel. Oh. After a bit of platforming. Uh, William says no, it was shelf defense. V fantastic. <laughs> I'm so glad that everybody showed up with the puns. I, I <laughs> they're really understanding the assignment. Yeah, no, this is this has been incredible. I, I'm I'm grinning ear to ear, and it's it's been that way like this entire time. Okay, so we're gonna deload this corner real quick. This is a little trick that I found that I'm very proud of, and we get to clip straight oh, wow. into the arena. Um, okay, so we're going to pick up this solo cup as our hammer and start the fight. Were you just sort of uh, mashing your face into different corners to see which one worked? Or was there more strategy to the finding that clip? Um, th well, there was a different way that we we knew that that corner deloaded. I found a way in there uh, that was a little bit inconsistent. And yeah, kind of as we were messing around, I was actually teaching somebody uh, a run at one point and um noticed some like weird uh behavior and that led to that little clip which was funny love that uh, so here's our electric eel she likes to use little implements to attack us with let me just get this sequence done real quick i'm glad her attack sequence is roughly the behavior of a real life eel which is hide behind rock and open mouth yeah, <laughs> she's got her little hidey holes. Uh, ignore that weapon over there. That's uh, nothing important. Uh, I do, to get a little inside baseball for a second, I need to step away for like one minute to handle something. Um, yeah, no worries. Everything's fine. I just need to do something, but wanted to let y'all know. Uh, but I will leave you with Straw Baby Milk TTV saying that they are grinning from eel to eel. Oh my goodness. Hope this helps. <laughs> <laughs> I will be right back, chat. Uh, hey, donate more puns so I have puns to read when I get back. Gosh, you all have been so punny. You've exceeded uh, my expectation to the fullest. Uh, we're going to do another gravity kill on a boss right here. 
I'm gonna lure him into this little hole. I'm gonna heal up real quick and immediately into the next boss fight. Just need to get up this ledge. Alrighty. Now we have the ceviche sisters. Nice and easy. So, after these bosses, we're kind of entering into... Uh, not the end of the game, but this is like the final linear boss rush that we are going to have to face down. Ooh, that one. Uh, and the bosses start to get much more difficult, and we're going to be doing a lot less one-shots and a lot more, uh, like, improv fighting and just going as fast as we can. Uh, and it's where we can make up a lot of time or lose a lot of time in this category. Uh, overall, things have been going quite well. All of this, all of this pathing was to get these three map pieces and as well as pick up all of the bosses before this final boss rush. So we need to complete this ethereal box map to move on to the next part of the game. We're also going to go ahead and pick up an extra bit of power for ourselves by selling things for money, which we can very easily just put into levels. All right. Welcome back. Despite everybody's best efforts, I lived. <laughs> Has chat made it my problem yet? Why did the crab invite his friends over for a party? Uh, why? He wanted to celebrate. <laughs> they they never get old. <sighs> I I could do this for for hours on end if you, oh, they're the best. If you would let me. I do th one of the only puns I already know from watching uh Quacksilver's uh, casual playthrough of this a while ago is the uh, Venture Crabitalist, which is mm -hmm. an exceptional pun. <laughs> All right, coming up on our next boss, we're really going to start cooking through them here. Well, we kind of already have, but we are in the end game now. Another thing that this game really likes to do is they make you, they like to make you think that the boss you're fighting right now is the final boss, and then there's another boss after that, and then another one after that. Bend you down <laughs> the drain myself, you little flatworm. This music's so good. Yeah, the music in this game is fantastic. This one's definitely pretty vibey. Rebuff here in a sec. All right, so the next trick coming up here is very tricky, so I'm gonna need to focus for a second. It's a tricky trick. A trick. Trick trick. Ah, I messed it up. So the idea there is it's a frame perfect trick. You want to pause the second that you kill the boss. And uh, you press the die instantly button, and that skips what we call the depression sequence. So it's called depression skip. Uh, and we would be in this state, but we would have our full movement. Um, but the good news is this is plenty of time for, for downtime, for, for hanging out, uh, bringing the adrenaline down for the middle for, of the run. I don't know, sending me some more puns to read. That too. Wait. This definitely wasn't, this definitely wasn't a, uh, a whole ploy to 
create more downtime for more puns. Would you say <laughs> the earth is beautiful? No, it's mean and it's rude and it's but yeah, that, so that true, trick Krill. is everything nice and it just I remember there was a time um when Quack thought that trick was just like not possible on her setup. Like, it's so frame perfect that Quack was like, I think my computer just cannot do the skip. Yeah, it's uh, it's stupid hard. Um, I I don't know when Quack was talking about that, but there was a point in time when we were speedrunning this and we thought that you had to pause perfectly on it. Uh, but we learned that we could pause buff it, buffer by resuming the game and hitting the pause again. So we could advance the, the game like at very in very small frame in increments. Um, so it became a little bit easier, but it's still like super difficult. It's kind of the thing that makes or breaks runs because it's about like a two minute to like minute 45 time save. Um, that's, um, that's a lot of time to lose. Uh, yeah. this late in a run on something so precise. That's y'all are yeah. stronger than me. It's tough. And I think that's why Quack is a huge fan of Glitchless. Not only because Glitchless mm. introduces like a lot of uh, fun unused mechanics in the game, but you don't have to do depression skip. Because depression skip is depressing if you don't get it. Fair. Um, but yeah. We, uh, we've been called by the void. Curls are all sad, but there is still hope. There always is always hope. Um, My first and... thought was to make a dumb pun about the phrase, there's always hope, and then I'm like, no, that seems like... I don't know. That, that that was like a very sweet sentiment. We might not want to ruin this with a pun. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, died instantly there just to make sure that our we got our shell back because we're gonna need it for the next upcoming boss. Our trusty solo cup. Chat, consider if you will. All of these puns in chat are very funny, but have you considered how cool it would be if you heard them read out loud? Imagine a world where for the low, low price of one doll hair, you could make me read your stupid jokes audibly. Consider a bus. No. <laughs> hey, teacher, he gets it. Teacher a blessing or a curse, depending on how you look at it. Truly a blurse. <laughs> okay, this is uh, Pet Rock, uh, or Pet Rock, because it's also a hermit crab, and people like to name their hermit, hermit crabs Pet Rocks. Another funny little nod in this game. Uh, I like to call it Imposter, because it's posing as a, uh, a moon snail shell, which is like our, our little teleport points. It's also behaving beautifully for me. It's doing a lot of the very good moves. Lost our buff, but we keep getting good moves, so I'm gonna keep taking the damage. Seems reasonable to me. This should be it. Oh, one more. All right, super smooth. We can't skip this next cutscene, or it will put us all the way back at the start of the level, which would suck. <clears throat> Alright, you know what? Chat, I'll level with you. This is a lot of puns, and I know that we're, we're clearly leaving the puns in the chat for uh, ease of use, if you will. But if we break 5,000... 800 right if we get 20 more dollars in the next like seven minutes if, if we can get over 5800 by 50 minutes on the timer 
I will scroll back through chat and read all of these. That's quite the promise. I mean, because they're very good. I kind of want to read them. But they're fantastic. You know, Got to make them work for it. <laughs> the fact that you're pulling this runoff while also paying attention to chat is absurd. <laughs> That's so impressive. We have a bit of fun. I mean, like I said, you can't have this game without puns. All right, this next guy has been the bane of my existence since I started speedrunning this game. We learned how to skip him in any percent, but I don't have that privilege here in, in all bosses. He can be very, very stally. But sometimes he behaves. Incredible. Wow. That was actually a gold on my split. Yo, let's go. Let's go gold splits. Hey, exceptional timing, too, because uh, we did receive uh, several $20 donations, in fact. Um, we received $20 from Corticus that says, Every pun you say? I hope you're not getting up to something fishy. <laughs> And twenty dollars from Hockey Babbler that says paying to torture Happy by Three. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, plus some other help. One dollar from Powsey that says Cloud. I'll donate another fifteen if you don't equip a crab for the bridge snipers. Oh my goodness, that's been a point of contention between us. I tell you, equip the crab every time. <laughs> Because it's such a dangerous part of the run, there's no reason not to, but we'll, we'll see how much time we have and if I'm willing to risk it. Uh, and then we got a $5 donation from Massive that says, I'm doing my part. More puns. More funny. Uh, thank you all for all of that generosity. That puts us at $5,826 toward that 6 K that we are looking for for the blindfolded fight and it puts us at 336 out of 400 for the fresh file on Sly 2 and it means I have lots of puns to read so whatever whenever is the best time for me to just interrupt you let me know and I will start pun reading uh when I, I mean honestly okay I'm not equipping the crab all right very, very dangerous. Uh, I'm about to go into a bunch of boss fights that are going to take a little bit. So once we get to this uh, next one, I'll uh, I'll queue you off and we'll have a, a solid minute or two. Perfect. Ooh, dangerous. Those will just one shot me. Just like everything else. All right, for safety, I'm gonna quit out here and reset their positions. Okay, so the next skip coming up looks kind of crazy. We in the community call it bubble launch. Uh, and it's where you roll, you'll see a bubble right there. We use a bubble that's down the road here a little bit uh, to build up a ton of momentum and then launch ourselves off of it all the way across the world. Um, and it skips a ton of platforming and saves a bunch of time.
in my time to shine. Uh, shortly, I know. I'm okay. sorry, everybody's shocked. No, you're good. Bit. I've made it. I made quiet. a slight just quiet for a second, and I was like, "Are we good?" <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, no, you're locked in. I messed up. We have to go back. Uh, yeah, let's go for it right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Backtracking there a little plenty bit. Plenty of time, considering I uh, have no umami. Fair. Okay, I have scrolled back to when I returned from leaving for a minute. Uh. So, Cloud, uh, what is a crab's favorite fruit? Um, gosh, I I don't know. What's a crab's favorite? Well, fruit? a crab apple, of course. I I don't know why I was thinking coconut because it's like kind of <laughs> kind of has a shell, you know. What does a crab get before its license? Uh, what what does it get? I'm gonna be a learner's crazy. hermit, of course. Do you know why the crab got bad grades? Why? He was uh, below sea level. <laughs> I love it because I'm trying to guess these, but I, they're they're so good that I can't. <laughs> Where does Krill store all his most important possessions? The oceanic shelf, of course. Of course. And what do crabs do with smartphones? They, they surf the internet? Ooh, that's a good one. But in fact, they take lots of shelfies. There you go. <laughs> uh, do you know why the crab programmed everything in assembly? Oh, I have no clue. Uh, because it wanted to go under the sea. There you go. That joke's very funny if you know half those words. Um, <laughs> <any comp -sci>? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Enjoy why does Krill like Bash so much? Because it's a seashell. Oh, this might be my favorite one so far. What's a crab's favorite part about the pizza? The crust? The, the crust taste sun. <laughs> the crust <laughs> oh, taste I get sun. It. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so real quick, I'm going to I'm going to butt in. You can interrupt any anytime. Time. So uh, as our little reward uh, for being such punny people, uh, I am going to make Krill wear a made outfit. Amazing. <laughs> oh, not that one. This a one gift, to be sure. Glorious. You all earned this. Uh, Pauzy did donate that 15 and said, you're the goat. Here's 15 bucks for your troubles. <laughs> Thank you, pal. Do you know what Krill uses for remote login? No, what does he use? Uh, a secure shell, of course. Of course. Do you know what he orders at a coffee shop? I'm, I'm at a loss. A uh, a crabuccino. Of course. Yeah. You know where a crab can find a missing limb? Well, I'm it's ready. the hit me with it. It's the Clawston found. Not the not the claw sit. The closet. Ooh, the closet's good. <laughs> okay, here's another boss fight. I'm gonna focus up for a sec. Absolutely. Um, feel free to read off. Okay, I will read them without making it your problem. <laughs> uh, how do you know if a crab is tired? It starts to feel crabby. Where do crabs go when they need to catch public transport? The bus station. Uh, scrolling through trying to find more. Someone said amazing. Uh, uh, <laughs> we also got, you know where Krill can find used objects for resale? The second hand store. Uh, oh, Guinevere Lance a little says the closet is where the maid outfit was hiding. Oh, there you go. That makes sense. That does make sense. Yeah, we are absurdly close to that blindfolded ruby fight. We are $174 away already. That is so possible. No, even less now. I think we're 134 now? 44 now? Yeah, 144 now. We're so close. And also contributing to that was a $15 donation from Lost Lemon with no comment. But thank you so much for that generous donation, Lemon. We super, super appreciate you. And that also put us closer 
to this Sly 2 Band of Thieves incentive with 351 out of 400. So we are $49 away from that incentive. We are $144 away from the next milestone. We are absolutely krilling it, chat. I have been grilled. You know where a crab goes to drown its sorrows after being krilled? Where? A uh, sandbar. Of course. Yeah. I wonder what they serve at sandbars. Cock snails? Is that anything? Is that... I don't know. We'll workshop it. I mean, co co it's like oh. cocktail. Yeah, that's what I was going for, but I don't know if it's like. I like good. it. A worthy contribution. Take two. Hmm. This boss is... Oh. Hockey makes a good point. Um, they serve top shelf liquor at the <laughs> sandbar. This hospital <laughs> says, boy, what a username. Uh, this hospital says, what alcohol did they serve at the sandbar? Crim de sediment. I'm, if everybody could keep putting stuff in the chat so I don't have to look at this, that would be amazing. Thanks everyone. Cause, huh. Don't love it. Super weird pattern. Well, it's a super weird boss. Yeah, he is. It's this is huh. a king crab that has shed its uh, hard outer shell. And as everybody knows, now I'm no scientist, but it's my understanding that if you remove the shell from a crab, they grow human teeth. Uh, yes, they actually uh, get dentures. Oh my goodness, uh. that's really unfortunate. It's annoying you have to do both cycles again, but I guess yeah. that's that's Soulsborne's baby. Yeah, the the final gauntlet of this uh, game is pretty brutal, and it's not going to let up. So we're going to lock in. We're going to focus and make this as plain as possible from here on out. Oh my god. Unfortunate. What does the uh, bleached status effect do? Uh, so that prevents me from using my shell spells which is like my little attack buff. Uh, I believe it also prevents healing. Okay, move away. All right, we're not gonna get killed by that this time. <laughs> Last time's a charm. Third time's a charm, but it will be the last time. Krill's, like, intense battle pose with the maid outfit is really exceptional. I'm glad everybody's enjoying it. It's, it's really special.
here. It's the worst time to get grabbed. There we go. This is a prime example of bosses that love to stall in this game. Right, that's that. Moving on. Sorry for the silence. Great. And now we are down to the final two. That's a cool normal noise. Yeah, so this is <laughs> the the void that was calling to us earlier is actually this boss. It's kind of I believe it's a siphonophore that's controlling one of our friends, unfortunately. Interesting. Play extra safe here. last ball. Now we have so much damage for this phase, it becomes quite easy. Oh. Alright. Now we just have to now we just have to survive. Die with the rest of this ocean! The phase of this boss is kind of just like an auto-scroller. She's slowly losing HP. And she's shooting lasers at us. Oh no. Scream for me! Oh, that's not good. Fun fact, <laughs> Chad is killing me this round. Fun fact, hermit crabs wouldn't survive the pressure this deep in the ocean. Fantastic Another fun, fun fact. fact, hermit crabs can't speak. <laughs> maybe, maybe your hermit crabs can't speak. Yeah, speak for yourself. <laughs> maybe your hermit crab just doesn't trust you enough to open up. That's brutal. Alrighty, that's Priya done. Now, unfortunately, the most infamous boss of this run, we have Firth. And he's incredibly difficult, and I will do my best to make this as fast as possible, but there is a good chance that this will take multiple attempts. Um, the good news is, though, on this first run, we do have that double hit glitch that we talked about, uh, because that was a cutscene boss we just killed. So fingers crossed. Come on, do it! Hit me! Don't be a coward! I'm familiar with this boss, specifically that first voice line from watching people die to it a lot. Oh no, that's not good. Not you, though. Oh, well, we're gonna go ahead and just take an L here. Yeah, it's my understanding that Firth is a big jump in difficulty. <laughs> Yeah, so he's very difficult. The, the reason why I decided to die there is because this is all bosses, so we've had plenty of time to scale a bunch of damage. Uh, but I wanted to save an extra another crab um, on, just for the it. second Hit phase. Me. So if Don't we do get there, we can uh, guarantee it pretty easily. Oh, nice. Good. 
set of attacks then. <coughs> Beautiful. All right, that's second phase. So when things go right, we do have plenty of damage for this. It's a very cool looking second phase. As you see, he likes to troll. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet, dude. Ooh, big damage. Uh, but yeah, as far as aesthetics, this, this phase is very pretty. Oh, no, that's okay. That's why we have the another crab. Need to rebuff. That's cool of him to give you that warning before he threw that at you. <laughs> what a guy. Oh. Why she loves stalling. Watch the grab, that will just one shot us. After I take care of you, my life's gonna roll! Oh no. Unfortunate. I was a little bit slow on my charge attack timing and we got hit. That's okay. We do still have plenty of time as far as estimate goes, so we yeah. keep going. Hey. We are safe, and I believe in the dream. Come on, do it. Thank you Hit so me. much. This uh, this run definitely gets pretty brutal. Uh, as far as bosses cooperating goes. I mean, if I recall correctly, didn't both of the runners at GDQ last summer die to Firth yes. like three or four times each? Yes, they did. Seems like Firth is just really, really hard. Firth is nothing if not rude. And, you know, sometimes just likes to spam the same ability three times in a row. Chat would like to know if Firth is basically Seeperoth. Uh, I don't know too much about Sephiroth to confirm or deny, but Firth in this game is kind of like a crypto bro of the ocean. Oh, gross. He, yeah, no, he's <laughs> there's a reason why he's the bad guy. Uh, the whole reason we wanted the shell that's on his back right now is so he could like save the state that the ocean's in right now. And he wanted it for himself so he could save the quote economy. Ah, yeah, super charming stuff. <laughs> really cool, Firth. Cool energy you've brought to the to the function. A really unfortunate pattern we got there, but we lived. Uh, Alton, <laughs> I said I'm pretty sure this is the same boss that's killed other runners at marathons, and Alton Silverbane said, oh, so it's not the first time this has happened? <laughs> My goodness. Which, that's either a really good pun, or um, Alton doesn't understand number endings and think it's like first, second, fifth. The, the attack that we're hoping for is that, like, double swipe attack that he does with his tentacles, and as you can see, he's doing just about anything but that. Oh, all right, that was awfully close. No, 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 Krill, wait! Don't put Run for the shell! Uh, time is going to end whenever we pick up our home at the end here. Um, but overall, this is a super fun run. I'm glad that I was able to do it for everybody. Nobody look yeah. up Krill's skirt. It's very rude. <gasps> I said don't Lude. look. I said don't look. <laughs> Everyone be cool. And as a bit of comeuppance hey, for Firth, uh, we get that boot stomping on, on him at the end. The nerd. All right, and three, two, one, time. GG's. GG. It was a little rough towards the end, but um, thanks for bearing with me, everybody.
What word comes to mind when you still confidently underestimate and still very, very impressive? <laughs> yeah. Um... Uh, if folks want to see more, where can they find you and or do you have any shout outs? Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, first, I want to shout out uh, Quacksilver, uh, one of our illustrious hosts who couldn't be here today. Um, but I am here in her stead uh, and bringing you the all bosses run. So thanks a ton to her and for hosting in the previous days of this event. Um, she's fantastic. Um, uh, shout out to the crab game community and shout out to all of you guys for your amazing puns that made this so much better than uh it ever could have been uh and thank you to my also illustrious esteemed host um with me today um but as far as um where to find me i occasionally stream on twitch at cloud underscore idk uh, I don't really have any any other socials, but if um, if you ever wanted to have a chat about Crab Game, um, go ahead and join the speedrunning Discord, and I'd be happy to be there uh, and help and teach and do whatever you guys would like. Um, but that's all from me. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much. And with that, we are going to make our way over to uh, break screen for just a second. So now would be a good time if you need to take a stretch, get a drink, take a bio break, take care of yourself and get ready to settle in because we have some incredible content coming up in just a second here. So now's a good time to take a breather because you are not going to want to miss anything coming up next. Just a couple quick updates on incentives before we get moving into the next chunk of runs and such. We do still have that Sly 2 Band of Thieves uh, fresh file incentive, just $49 away from meeting that. We are very, very close, but these are quick runs, right? These are all an hour or less. So we, we do not have a ton of time to get those donations in and make that happen. We are also $144 away from that $6,000 mark, which is an absurd amount of money. And if we hit that, we get that blindfolded boss fight, uh, that ruby fight in Sly 3, or Thievus Raccoonus. Yes, that's during Alice's run. There's a lot of Sly games coming up. I'm like, which one, which one is for which? So we have until about halfway through that 100% coinless run to get to that 6k, but why wait? Why wait until then? We haven't... We... We... The limit does not exist. That number can go up as far as you want it to go up, so why not keep getting it there? In the meantime, you're finally done listening to me. I'm very happy for you, but sad for myself because it's been a blast. I've had a lot of fun hanging out with y'all. Uh, always always a joy. Thanks to the powers that be for having me. Always super fun to uh, host for some great runs and great runners and make some money for a fantastic human who really, really deserves the support. Um, so while I am done for this event, I will be hanging out with y'all in chat, watching Sly and Sly and Sly and Sly. And you will be joined by the illustrious, the crown prince of making puns in chat for the last hour the hockey babbler so i'm leaving you in incredibly capable hands and i look forward to listening to hockey babbler's dulcet tones with you all in chat happy by three thank you so much for that absolutely incredible introduction chat give it up for happy happy is incredible that beautiful voice they are just their vibes immaculate absolutely incredible um happy by three thank you for uh getting the vibes right so hey welcome to running through wonderland if you've been here for a while um now's a great time to get that stretch in like happy was saying unshrimp yourself i know we were just watching the crab game but don't be shrimping um, get up, get a stretch break, and we're gonna get going with the raccoon block here. Get all the Sly Cooper in.
while we're unshrimping, while we're stretching, getting our water. Got a $15 donation from Lost Lemon. There's no comment on there, but we definitely appreciate that. That was huge. So nice. And that money was put towards starting a fresh file for the for Sly Two Band of Thieves. We've got uh, we've got that incentive still running, uh, so make sure to get your donations in. We're a bit getting really close to having that unlocked. Just to update you on how close we are to that, we are only $49 away from that fresh file for Sly 2 Band of Thieves. So that's pretty close. Chat, I think we can get that done. Heck, even before we start Sly Cooper Thieves in Time coming up next here with Zik 3, which is going to be absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to be here with you watching the amazing work that Zik does. And once we hit that incentive as well, we get that $49 in, we'll be less than $100 away from that blindfolded ruby fight, which is so hype and I cannot wait to see that. Well, I guess not see? Well, the runner's not gonna see. Alice isn't gonna see. We're going to see, it's going to be amazing. All right, and with that, we are just about ready for some Sly Cooper. Are you all ready for some raccoon time? I'm ready for raccoon time. <laughs> 